Without the right guests, a corporate event will not be successful. But how do you know who to invite and who not to invite? I can tell you one thing, it's not luck. Data plays an important role in drawing up your guest lists. And there are three types of data to keep in mind. You have behavioral data regarding events, you have business related data and there is personal data of your guests. I'll go through the first type, but if you want to know more about every type, you can find a link to a blog about this in the comments below. Now, when we talk about behavioral data regarding events, we're looking at data that answers questions like what events did this guest attend to before? To how many different events was this person already invited? Or how many times was this person a no-show? If your data can answer all these questions for potential guests, you can decide on whether to invite this person or not. So, for example, you see that this person often subscribes to events but never shows up when it's a product release. I would say two things. One, don't invite this person to product releases again. And two, congratulations, you have just avoided an empty seat at your next event. So, when using data, you'll be able to create a better match between your event and your guests. And at the end of the ride, you will notice a positive bottom line impact. So, for example, you'll have a better registration rate. There will be less no-shows at the event itself. And your event will have a higher return on investment. There's way more to say about using data to create guest lists and the advantages it entails. I wrote them down in a blog of which you can find a link in the comments. So, please check it out and thank you for watching.